There's an update from Forsyth 13's regional AU channel. This time we look at what's happening on the national weather scene. And we're starting over in uh, Western Australia where there is a severe thunderstorm warning for heavy rainfall, large hailstones for the people in parts of the southeast coastal uh, districts. An upper low over southwest Western Australia combined with a service trough over central parts producing severe thunderstorm activity over the far south of the state. Severe thunderstorms likely to produce heavy rainfall, flash flooding, large hailstones in the warning area over the next several hours. Locations that may be affected, Esperance and Salmon Gums. Severe thunderstorms are no longer occurring in the gold fields, the Great Southern District. Therefore, the warning has been cancelled. On the screen is the uh, warning area. And severe thunderstorm activity is to continue. The uh, Bureau has a Strong wind warning for Western Australia's Bunbury Geography, Leeuwin, or Ikula Coast. Similar warning for Wednesday. There was a road weather alert for Adelaide, it's been cancelled, although we have two heat wave warnings in place one for South Australia and Queensland, and New South Wales has a hazardous surf warning for Wednesday. Tasmania has a, uh, or will have a strong wind warning uh, Wednesday. So that is the latest on the national weather seed. Now we'll have a look at uh, other related uh, information. We start off with the uh, Bureau's total forecast of rain. And looking back over the last seven days, uh, we've seen a crazy set of storms in Australia's central east and southeast, heralding strong wind gusts peaking 100 kilometres an hour in regions of northern New South Wales. Record rain along the New South Wales Victoria border and Tassie. Millions of thunder strikes across the country's east, and many cases a large size hail. And a tornado uh, was uh, reported to the uh, west of uh, Brisbane uh, three days ago. And suddenly, a woman lost her life due to the severe thunderstorm activity. And uh, rain, rain, and more rain is uh, predicted. Uh, looking at the next uh, eight days, the rainfall scale right hand side of the screen and look at that area in brown which is uh, 1 to 10 millimetres then we go to the green which can be uh, 15 up to 50 millimetres and I'm focusing on the area Fraser Island down into northern New South Wales, central Queensland we could see in excess of 250 millimetres leading into the uh, Christmas period and not forgetting uh, Queensland only has I think about three weeks left of school. Now we have a look at the instability. The instability is going to be high in some places. Storms that have a good amount of energy for convection will act like a vortex and suck these uh, larger droplet crystals up into the atmosphere. Once more, there the droplet crystal gets larger, solidifies into, into a hailstone, falls again with gravity, and if the storm has enough energy, the process above repeats again and you can clearly see that it's going to be the um, southeastern corner of uh, WA 
and also uh, here in the southeast corner and uh, we're going to see a low pressure system forming off the New South Wales northern coast. This is from uh, 1300 hours through to 10 a.m. on Thursday. And we have a look at storm probabilities for the same period. And at the time of uh, doing this uh, video update, it's 23.9 in Sydney, 15.8 in Melbourne, 26.7 in Brisbane, 27.5 over in Perth, possible afternoon storm, 19, Adelaide, 14, Colwyn, uh, Hobart, 22, Canberra, and 33.1 in uh, Darwin. This is supercell probabilities. No significant rainfall has been recorded in any of the capital cities. Possible shower or storm in Darwin, possible light shower in Canberra, partly cloudy Hobart, cloud clearing in Adelaide. Sunny day for Sydney, possible light shower for Melbourne, cloud clearing of Brisbane and as mentioned Perth possible afternoon storm. We know that there is uh, storm activity and will continue till tomorrow and precipitation and pressure. Also keeping an eye on the uh, tropical cyclone Mao, currently category two, uh, to impact the western parts of uh, Fiji and the possibility of it becoming a category three on the local scale. Information at the top and bottom of the screen. Now we have a look at storm probabilities. Can it be the uh, Queensland? No, I should say the Western Australia Northern Territory border. And storms again uh, tomorrow. This is also from 10 a.m. through to 10 a.m on Thursday and storm activity for the southeast corner of Queensland and we uh, end we'll have uh, more in uh, coming hours so please uh, stay tuned to the channel and bye for now <laughs>